Hello there man, in this video I'm going to show you how you can finally add your fucking zombie escape mode Dark Professional into your official Counter Strike server Because why not, you like Dark Professional, don't you? You can add any mods into any type of host, even if it's this like OptiClean free version But this time I'ma do it on another host, because thanks to them I got a free server El Poria is one of the newest fresh Counter-Strike 1.6 hosting website with decent prices for their server specs. All the servers are hosted in Germany which is the best place possibly for most European players and if you want to test out a server of there you have a specific option which it says free slash 24 hours for you to test. As paying options you have such as PayPal, Revolut, Visa, easy pay and there are two others which i've never heard of if you are interested on finding more information about the website check out their discord server and you can ask the staff of europea about whatever you you are interested of so now let's get back to the video so right now you're going to go to your mods files nowhere into the host files okay so you're going to go to your mods files basically you just open um your mod so for example uh, i have my own cso mode which i've made so i'm going to tell you what are you going to do with your mod files as well it's easily the same steps as well so yeah in your mod files it should look like nearly the same as mine but mine is like a little bit cleaner and messier at the same time so first you're going to go inside add-ons folder and you're going to have plenty of these blah 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 blahs okay so now in here you're going to delete every single thing expect amazon mod x now what about this you may ask these are the these are just like custom bots yeah, I use YPB, but there are also other versions like uh, eBot, uh, PodBot. But yeah, this is optimal if you want to keep bots or not. If if you don't want, you can easily delete this. Um, you may ask why we deleted these files because the hosts like your Counter Strike 1.6 servers like hosts already have these, so you you do not even need them. They're like in the host ones, they are more updated than these ones. Not gonna say that these ones aren't updated either, but it's good to get the the latest ones. Okay, so now you're going to go inside Amazon Mod X, and in here you're going to again delete two folders, DLs, modules. Oh, I did not meant to open it. Okay. So yeah, you're going to delete DLs, models, and logs if you want. It's optimal for logs, okay? You can delete these two. They are not needed. Also, you can all the, delete these ones as well. And I don't know why I have three plugins outside here. <laughs> so I'll just put them back to their places. So now this is how it is going to look like. Clean, right? So now you're just done with like uh, deleting some uh, folders which are not really necessary for the mod because the hosts already have has this. It's pretty easy, you know? But it's more like time consuming when you just add the mod files to your VTP program. Speaking of VTP program, if you already don't have one, you can download Win SCPC 6.5 I'll leave links on the description. You can also download FileZilla. I'll also leave links to that on the description. But I personally prefer WinCTP over FileZilla because I don't know. I find FileZilla more confusing than this one. So that's why WinCTP is my way to go option. All right. So now after you have installed your um, VTP program, now you're going to go to your uh, Counter Strike 1.6 hosting website where your server is hosted. So in my case, for this one is going to be again Euphoria. Thank you for giving me out a server. So here we go. So now in here, uh, you're. I think when you go to your Counter Strike server, you're just going to go immediately to the console. I mean, it's the default thingy. I don't blame you. But uh, yeah, you're going to go on settings like depending on your host and then you're going to see in here svtp details 
and then you'll see the address in here blah 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 and you're going to click launch sftp i i believe every single host has this so you just click this and it's going to ask google for this blah 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 make sure you tick this always to allow and then just click open and then after you're done logging in it's going to show like something like this basically the whole counter-strike files so yeah now you just leave this for the moment now oh sorry let me just open this all right so now um just go inside cs track and then you just basically add all of these files right in here now again this is the part what i was talking about it's more time consuming because depending on your mode uh it might be heavy or not heavy like in terms of the amount of megabytes mine is of course cso cso's in general are heavy with the resources and uh, etc so yeah i'm gonna be back to whenever this shit is finished now since you're done adding the mode to the vtp program files basically now you just simply restart the server get this server ip and you just join pretty much as it is as you can see now uh, i'm in the server now with a mode in here loaded perfectly uh as you see server name is euphoria i haven't changed it yet but soon i'm going to change it to my actual server name and again thank you to euphoria hosting team for giving me out a free server make sure you check out their website you can test their servers again if you're willing to consider buying one of them servers so see you in the next video or maybe live stream peace